Hello everybody, wish you all a very very happy new year and welcome to your 10th C++ programming tutorial. Now in this video we're going to learn about switch case statements. Now switch case statements are in most of the parts similar to, mostly similar to if else or only if statements. Then why do we need switch case statements? Let's see. We need switch case statements when we want to test the same condition for different values. Okay is the same condition each time for different values so let's take an example and let's take an example and you'll be clear suppose we are you are building a simple game and you wanna you wanna tell the player that you scored this after he scored this as an example if he scored one you have to tell him that you scored one when he scores two you will uh, tell him that you scored two so let's go and do it so let's create a variable in score and we'll give it the value later. Okay, first of all, the, let's first of time give it one. Okay. Now, in case of in order to switch this, first of all, let's write switch as the ITCH switch, and then within parentheses, oops, and then within parentheses we have to write the variable we want to switch or the variable we want to test for. Okay, here we want to test for score. So here we will uh, switch score. So for different values of switch, uh, different values of score, we will do different things. So here let me start the body of the switch. Now we have to do cases. So case one. Case one means when the value of score will be one. We want to do this. Then again, when the value of score is two, we want to do this. Oops, we're gonna do this. And then again, when the value of score is 3, uh, we wanna do something else. So this is what switch case means. So for when the value of score is 1, we wanna do this. When the value of score is 2, we wanna do this. When it's 3, we wanna do this. And then finally, you have to dip something called a default. Now, what default is, a default means what you want to do when the value of score is nothing among 1, 2, 3 or anything given in the case. Okay. Suppose the value of score is 4, then it will go to default. Suppose the value of score is 5, then it will go to default. So when the value of score is anything except these values which have been already given in cases will go to default state. Okay. Suppose it's 25, it will go to default. So anything except 1, 2, 3 will go to default. Okay. Uh, so let's do for case 1. When it's case 1, we want to print you got 1. Okay. And remember, this is very, very important. You have to give a statement called break. Okay. After each case, you have to give a break. So remember, you have two semicolons. First of all, you are ending the statements and then you are giving a break. Okay. If you don't give a break, then all the cases will be executed. So if the score is 1, 1, 2, 3 will be executed. If the score is 2, 2, 3, after that all will be executed. So we have to break the statement here. So after executing this condition, after executing uh, the instructions for this condition, this case, we have to break it so that it goes out of the switch. Out of switch, okay. Break statement basically sends the control out of, uh, out of a section. Uh, as an example here, two brackets are a scope. So break stay uh, break just sends the control out of the scope. So when we write break, it will come. The next control will come after this uh, ending curly brace. Okay. So when the case is two, let us tell you got two. And when the case is three, let us when the case is three, we let us tell that you got. 3 and let's break it okay now and when the default it may say that you got no score okay so I think it got clear to you guys then enter so let's Give the value now. Uh, as you guys can see, currently the value of score is one. So if I run it, um, come on, it will print that you got one. Now let's uh, let's do the value of score two. 
and if I run it again it will give you got two and if I give the value of four uh, value of score to five now as you can see that there is no case which states for five so where five will go five will go to the default state okay so if the value is not here it will go to the default state so it should uh, print that you got no score let's see let's run it and as you can see it prints that you got no score so that was the basics of switch statements i hope you guys understand and if you have any questions please write those in comments and thank you very very much for watching this video i hope it helped please subscribe and like and share thank you